The People's Action Party has reappointed Dr. Janil Puducherry as party whip and Sim Ann as deputy whip. The whip is often regarded as a disciplinarian, ensuring that MPs vote according to the party line. But the whip can be lifted at times to allow them to vote according to their conscience. Twelve government parliamentary committees have also been formed. They act as an additional feedback channel on government policies. With the exception of defense and foreign affairs, finance and trade and industry and social and family development, the remaining nine committees have new chairmen. Tin Pei Ling will head the Communications and Information GPC. Dr. Tan Wu Meng in Health, Sito Yi Pin, Culture, Community and Youth, and Murali Pillay in Home Affairs and Law. Cheryl Chan heads the National Development GPC, with Louis Ng in Sustainability and Environment, and Saktiandi Supat in Transport. Desmond Chu chairs the Manpower GPC, replacing Patrick Tay, who's heading the Education GPC. Mr. Tay says he'll look not just at mainstream and special needs education. The GPC will also focus on helping the workforce ride through the current disruption by staying employable with lifelong learning and training. Others will bring their professional expertise to their new roles, like Po Li San, who's vice president of Changi Airport Group. Many um, airports have already levied carbon uh, footprint or taxes on airlines. Uh, we haven't gone there yet. Uh, many European countries are doing that already. But this is something that we have to think about as we go along, as we expand our air hub, as we pick up from where we left off our pre-COVID days, to think about how um, the aviation industry can actually um, be a positive force contributing to sustainability efforts rather than negative 